All right, welcome back. So I'm more excited to do this video than any video in quite a while, and it's because of this Springfield Armory 3.8 inch OSP and 10 millimeter. Now I shoot a lot of guns in the course of a year, obviously for the channel. This is absolutely something special, and right now I'm calling this the best carry gun ever made, and I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why right now. Number one, this is a Glock 19 size. So for a long time, the Glock 19 has been regarded as kind of that ideal footprint of a gun. Now, I don't know if Springfield Armory had this in mind when they designed the 3.8 inch OSP, but these dimensions are as close as you can get without it actually being a Glock 19, which is kind of funny because on the website, it actually gives a little bit different dimensions, but when you line them up side to side, they are absolutely identical. Number two, this is in 10 millimeter. What more can you say? You can get anemic loads, which people don't always talk about in the most favorable light, but in terms of carry, you can actually find loads that are fairly uh, soft shooting, and so that, that makes it more palatable for some people who are recoil averse, and then you can get rounds all the way up to 1600 feet per second, which I just tested this last week out of this gun. So that is phenomenal. Number three, 11 round standard capacity. So you've got 12 rounds on tap with this gun, which is one more than the Glock 29 in the same size footprint as the Glock 19, as I mentioned before. That's amazing. Number four, reliable 10,000 round torture test. So as you know, the original version of this, the 4.5 was released in 2017 with the torture test with Guns America and Clay, it ran 10,000 rounds flawlessly, no issues. And that's been our experience since then, since the track record of 2017 to 2022. They're just reliable, solid firearms. So reliability. Number five, being a Glock 19 footprint, you can actually pocket carry this. It isn't incredibly comfortable, but it is doable. And another bonus is that the MIC holster, the trigger guard minimalist holster that I use for carrying in my pocket, actually fits perfectly onto the Springfield 3.8 inch. So that is very nice. So I immediately started pocket carrying this as soon as I got this. Bonus for sure. All right, number six, you've got the Meta Trigger on the Springfield. So the Meta Trigger is four and a half pounds. Very consistent over platforms. I tested it in the full size four and a half inch as well. And we've tested it over time. It stays the same. So four and a half inches, clean break, short reset, right to 180 degrees there, straight up and down, vertical. You couldn't ask for a better trigger. If that light of a trigger on a carry gun makes you nervous, you've still got the grip safety for added peace of mind, if you will. All right, number seven, you have 11 round standard capacity, which makes 12 Barney load, as I mentioned before. You also have the capability of taking one of their 16 round mags and carrying it in your pocket as a backup or even carrying it in the gun if you want to carry it in that way. But you don't have to because what Springfield's done with this gun is that they've taken the mag well, they've made it removable, and they've given you three options of 15 round mags that will flush right up to the bottom of this grip to make it a commander style grip. So you've got 16 round capability with a continuous grip for those who don't like the way that their hands would sit on it with the magwell. So that's pretty phenomenal. I think a lot of people end up carrying in the configuration the 15 plus one and then maybe throw in the 16 in their pocket for a backup mag. Very nice, very nice Springfield. Usually with all the other manufacturers, you have to get it from an aftermarket manufacturer, a grip sleeve. Springfield thoughtfully included it as an option with their gun. Num Number eight, this comes optics ready. You've got the choice of three plates. They don't come with the gun. You have to request them from Springfield and they'll mail them to you. Number one is the Dr. Vortex Burris plate system. Number two is a loophole shield. And number three is a Trijicon Hollow Sun. Very nice. Something you still cannot get a Glock 29 Gen 4 in. Number nine, and this one's impossible to quantify for me. It doesn't make sense. But for some reason, this is more pleasant for me to shoot than the four and a half inch version. As I said, don't ask me why. I think it might have to do with the way my hand fits 
on the smaller version versus the larger four and a half inch version, but I actually shoot this gun better than the four and a half inch. That results may vary for you. Number 10, these just have the smoothest action of any of the tens I've tested with the exception of probably the tank folio. It, do, it doesn't, maybe doesn't translate on camera, but these are just so smooth. When I chamber rounds, there's no hiccup. I can actually ride the slide in the slingshot and the rounds will just hit that feed ramp and go up just smooth as butter. Both the guns that we have right now, Chooks and my. So go ahead and subscribe to Chooks Outdoor Adventures. This is his four and a half inch. He's graciously loaned me, but same thing, just incredibly smooth action. So in conclusion, this is the gun that Chuk and I have been looking for for a very long time. And now that it's here, it's just everything that we hoped it would be. You can ankle carry it, you can pocket carry it, you can in the waistband carry it. You don't have to switch out a different gun for the woods or in the city. This does it all. If you want to, you can get the four and a half inch version. The slides are fully interchangeable and modular, so you could throw on a potential of four different configurations with these guns. And to top it all off, Springfield has an offer where you can get a free range bag and three extra mags with any purchase of a Springfield product through the end of August. So if you were going to pull the trigger on this, this would be the time. But let me know where I went wrong or where you agree. Do you think this is the best carry gun or do you think I've overlooked some things? Let me know in the comments below. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description below for links to my Patreon and my spread shop. Thanks for joining me on the journey. I haven't been this excited about a gun in a very, very long time. 3.8 inch, 10 millimeter. LW Road, out.